Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. Bit of a bloodbath first uh, trading day back after the new year as uh, data of China has massively disappointed. Um, and you also put in the Iran Saudi Arabia issues and you've got a perfect melting pot of, uh, of fear and concern in the market. So first of all, that, that, that Chinese data um, in regards to their manufacturing index came in way worse than expected. Today also was the first day of a new circuit breaker um, initiative that China had implemented. If the markets dropped more than 5%, there'd be a pause for 15 minutes. They dropped more than 7%, they're suspended for the day. And of course, uh, it's the first trading day back, so uh, the markets have, of course, hit that already. Uh, and the Chinese markets got suspended. So most Chinese markets down between 7 and 8%. And um, the uh, European and US markets have followed suit. Now, the Germany 30 is the one that's getting really hurt this morning. It's down almost 3% uh, already. With the US 30 uh, showing three advancing, so three black crows here, sorry, as a candlestick uh, pattern, breaking below 17,361, with 17,034 being the next potential support. The other technical is relatively neutral, apart from the MACD, which basically shows that there could be more technical weakness to come. So it's not looking so great for the US 30, it's only down 1%. In fact, we'll have a look at the Germany 30 in a second because it's savage. So looking at the UK 100, it's down 1.2% so far this morning. Uh, getting close to that 21 period SMA, halfway between two ranges with 60 spot 73 being the next potential level. So what we should do, let's have a look at the Germany 30 uh, because this will give you a bit of, an, a, bit of a flavor. Uh, it's actually gapped much lower this morning. So uh, that shows you where we are. So if I get my drawing tools out here at the moment, you can kind of see that that's your next potential support. Uh, arguably, yeah, you probably take this tip here. So you're in between two ranges right now. Uh, you then continue to follow back, look for the next tips of these candles when you're looking to construct your support and resistance levels. So that's kind of what you'd be looking at. A horrible gap to have, uh, have first thing this morning. It is off the session lows, if I'm completely honest. Um, the other technicals are still pretty neutral, to be honest. And then uh, 10,125 is a potential support, with uh, almost 11,000 being the next potential resistance, but we're a good bit away from there right now. So that gives you a flavor of Germany 30. Looking at Japan, 225, dollar yen has, uh, so obviously yen has been flavor of the day. Uh, dollar yen collapsing down to almost 119, um, and that yen strength is dragging Japan, 225, down much lower. Really bearish engulfing pattern again today, 18,306 is the next potential support level to be aware of. Let's have a look at that dollar yen, finally getting, a, I guess, finally getting that breakout uh, with 119 being the potential support. After that, it's 117 spot 36, and you take the tip of this candle as well. Very aggressive move by the yen this morning as people are buying the safe haven. So looking at uh, crude, uh, this is a bit of a tough one to play right now because obviously if Iran and Saudi Arabia, if the tensions flare up even more, that causes a bit of a problem for supply. Uh, bearing in mind where Saudi Arabia is with their production just now. Now, with the embassy in um, Tehran, the Saudi Arabian embassy getting overrun, this morning Saudi Arabia have come out and said that they are shutting down uh, all the Iranian embassies uh, in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, and that is uh, un unprecedented. They've not had relations this bad in over 35 years. So, and they're involved in so many proxy wars, that's a bit of a problem. So what you saw this morning actually was an initial spike up in crude, only for it to get pushed back down again, uh, as traders just don't really know what's gonna happen next. Yes, it should be crude positive, um, but the, the deal is, is what is Iran actually gonna do to try and uh, and hurt uh, Saudi Arabia for uh, the uh, the execution of that very prominent Shia cleric. And of course, Iran, Iran is a Shia um, dominated uh, region as well. So big things happening in the Middle East, bigger than, than the normal. You've got the Russians there. You've now got this real load of tension between Saudi Arabia and Iran uh, in the backdrop of massive sell-offs in China. It's a bit of an ugly start to the morning. But the thing is, from a trading perspective, is all these sell-offs, traders do look at it as an opportunity. So depending if you're on the long or the short side, you've been sitting on the sidelines, you know, when you have a sell-off like this, this is actually a real good time to be getting, uh, certainly getting your interest pepped in a lot of these markets as the sell-offs are quite aggressive. So obviously you pick the right time, the trading timing's, uh, timing's everything. Uh, and it obviously depends if you've got that long or short view, but um, this is a, a good time to be monitoring and paying attention to what's happening. So with crude oil, you've got 3530 as an potential support. Um, this would be a graveyard doji formation if it forms like that, but we've only just started the trading day. 
So then moving on to gold, gold getting a little spike up. To be honest, it looks to be that Japanese yen is a safe haven of choice at the moment. So gold's not really that exciting. Just below 1,072. Next potential support is 1,047. So finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar bouncing off 1.0820, uh, getting above that 55 period SMA, getting close to 21 period SMA. Uh, again, not really that exciting, but this is an interesting move. Uh, if it forms this way, keep an eye on this candle today. Uh, that would be a hammer formation if it stays kind of constant like that. Uh, and we do have a slight, maybe a slight bit of divergence maybe forming here on the slow stochastic. With regards to economic data, we don't have a huge amount now that we've got the Chinese data uh, out of the way, which, as I said, was a bit of a miss. Not a massive miss by any stretch of the imagination, but the market has taken it to be quite negative. Um, we do have a PMI from the Eurozone, uh, from Germany, from the UK. Uh, then we've got CPI from Germany, and then finishing up today with PMI uh, from the US. And on Tuesday, we've got unemployment claims from Germany and CPI from the Eurozone. And then Wednesday, you've got PMI again for the Eurozone. Trade balance, factory orders, PMI again, and of course, the weekly petroleum data updates from, uh, from the US. So that's going to be quite a big day there on Wednesday. Obviously, Friday brings you non-farm payrolls. And just to finish up with GBP USD, uh, slowly moving that little bit lower versus the US dollar, one spot 46.40 is going to be the next potential uh, support level on that. So the downtrend firmly in, uh, in place at the moment. And uh, we're at a month, multi-month low. We've not been as low as this since uh, April last year. So that gives you an idea of what to expect. So guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Keep your eye on the Germany 30, of course, and uh, make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.